Today I'm getting the plywood cut to go into the bottom of the boat. As you can see, I got that first piece cut. Um, got a lot of things figured out there. It's, it fits pretty well. Um, it's down on the actual supports the whole length. Um, it was interesting to try to uh, sand that, hack that up on the other side to get that, an angle in there where it wasn't uh, being held up on one of the walls or the other. But uh, it's all in there. None of the gaps are too, too heinous. So I should be able to fill them with the the boat filler and then once it gets glassed in place it'll look a lot tighter. So the first thing I did was put a line down the center of the center support of the boat and then you'll see I marked a tick mark every one foot and then what I'm going to do is take a dowel rod run it on the support until it hits the wall over here and then I'll mark the dowel rod where it crosses that line. And then that mark will come over here to the piece of plywood. And I put corresponding foot marks all the way down here. And then I will do the same thing. Put that dowel rod there, make sure the mark is here and know that this is where the bottom surface of this piece of plywood needs to be to meet up with the hull of the boat. Now when I cut that profile with the jigsaw I will have the blade at an angle because obviously the dimension is smaller on the bottom of the sheet of plywood than it is on the top because you can see it's not going to be hitting the walls square. So I'll get that all marked up show you what that looks like and we'll see where it goes. I have the profile transferred onto here and let me look down there. Yep, and it does what you would expect, it kind of bows out and then comes back in as you get towards the back of the boat. Um, I will have to cut off I think something around a half of an inch off the end, this end to fit in into the back. Um, but uh, I'll do that after I get this profile cut out. So I'm going to cut a couple relief cuts in, three or four of them. And then I will set the blade at an angle, something like this, and cut out that profile. Now I need to just cut this part off with a circular saw along this line and I should be able to set it in there and see how close we came. It fits pretty well. There is one place right here. Well, I'll have to take a notch out on the underside to accommodate this rib that's, or um, I guess profile on the hull that you see coming in here. That's the only one that I should have to, to make a modification for on this one. On the front, you see I had to work around those quite a bit to get that to fit in there. As you can see in there, I'm pretty close to the line where I wanted to start. You can see it right there. I did cut three quarters of an inch off the back of the board to make it fit in there. I did have to cut a corner off there and it is riding up a little bit right here so I have to take another little sliver off there to get it to fit but I'm feeling down here it feels like that bottom edge is riding on the hull 
quite a bit. Um, so I think I think that will will work for what we need to do. So I need to make those couple modifications, cut the other side, and then I can take all these boards out, take them all apart, and epoxy them. So the goal will be not to have any wood on wood contact, to have at least a couple layers of epoxy on everything before I put it back together and then I can glass it into the boat. There we go. Got all three floor pieces cut. Turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, no major issues, no huge gaps, nothing that I shouldn't be able to fill with the filler. Um, now the next thing is to get these things out of here, get them in the garage before this rain gets here so I can um, get a couple coats of the epoxy on them. So this is the epoxy that I'm going to be using to treat those the wood components. I went with the Total Boat epoxy resin from Jamestown Distributors. I decided to stick with products all from the same line with the thought that they should work well together. So just about everything that you're going to see me use is, came from Total Boat. Um, just a disclaimer here, I am not an expert on fiberglass work. This is new to me. Um, I've done a, a bit of research. I think I know enough to be dangerous, but um, this is definitely going to be a, a learning experience for me as well. Um, they did have a slow hardener and a fast hardener. Um, I went with the slow hardener, obviously, because I'm, um, like I said, learning at this, and this will give me a little bit more work of working time with the resin. And put the first coat of the epoxy on most of these pieces last night, um, at least the first side of them, and let them dry overnight. Seem pretty dry. I'll, uh, over the next day or so, I'll get the other side, all the edges, and then add a second coat as well. And, um, yeah, get these things all sealed up and ready to go into the boat. In the next video, I'll show you these all the way completely done. Um, and then I'll show you adding, I guess, fillet material in all the creases. And then I'll be doing some small amount of um, fiberglassing to this to this specifically before I install it into the boat so real fiberglassing happening in the next video thanks